I would just like, at this point, a long range weapon. With any amount of bullets. I would settle for a Makarov with one shot. I would settle for that. It's not a very good settle, but it's a settle that I would be willing to compromise with. Alright. This guy needs to screw off and turn around. Oh my god, I think I'm walking towards zombies right now. Yes. Oh man. I'm gonna get caught by these zombies and I'm gonna have to run. I don't wanna run. Because if I run, then I don't know where I am. Hold on, is this a train track out here? If this is a train track, I might be able to figure out where I am. In relation to Electro. And if I can figure out where I am in a re relation to Electro, I might just head somewhere else. Just because I don't want to be in Electro. This is a railroad track. Alright, let me see here. Where is this railroad track on this map? Um, well shit. There's lots of railroad tracks around Electro. That's not going to help me as much as I had hoped. It could... yeah. Let's see, is there any... Hmm. That place looks like it might be open, so I'm going to check that out. I think I'm to the north of Electro right now. I can't be 100% sure on this, but I think I'm to the north. And if this place is open, then I might be able to figure out where I am. Yeah, my map rocks over here. Sorry you guys can't see this map, but uh, it rocks. I will link this map in the videos um, so that anyone wanting to use this map can use it. It's a very nice map. Okay, this is an open building for sure. Alright, this looks like... Um, a barn or something? Probably, no, this isn't a barn, I don't think. Let's see here. Ah, I don't know what this is. I'm completely and utterly unsure what this actually is. So, that doesn't really help me too much. I know it's a building that's next to the train tracks, but there's multiple buildings next to the train tracks. It looks like a jerry can. Yeah, it's a jerry can. It's not going to help me. Not when I don't have a car. If I found another car during this, that would be just freaking amazing. It really would. Ah, goddamn mosquitoes. You hear that? Freaking mosquitoes. I mean, you know, they're not real mosquitoes. They're in the game, obviously. But they piss me the hell off. Because I can hear them, and it's like, you know... You get that sensation like there's a mosquito around me, and you don't want to get bits. It's like I'm gonna I'm gonna slap this thing off. Oh wait, it's it's totally in game. That's nothing at all. All right, what's this building over here? Okay, I need to vault over this thing. If I can. There we go. No, maybe not. Hold on, there's a way around this. Isn't there? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> God damn, it's hard to see in the dark. Alright. Uh oh. Nah, he's far off. He probably won't hear me if I run. This might be the farmhouse. 
Now I'm not quite sure what that thing was that I just went into, but I know it's not across the road. There's definitely a zombie right here. Where the hell is he at? Well, there's one, but I thought I heard one over here. Please do not tell me you heard me. Okay. I'm good. This is not an openable door at all. No, I don't see one over here. Okay, so this place is right before the road. It's like literally next to it. And this is going back into Electro as far as I know. So there's an open building. We're on the road. You know, I don't know what this is exactly. I'm guessing it might be an industrial place because I don't feel that it is a, well it could be a farm farm place looks like a gas station over there gas station do I have a gas station on my map that was definitely a farmhouse that I was sitting at I know where I am now Shit, I'm getting... <laughs> I'm totally getting a zombie crawl in my direction because I'm not paying attention. Shit! <laughs> oh boy. Alright, I gotta run. That's another zombie. Ouch. I need to find a hill. As fast as I can. Okay, so right now I am running north. Which is good. I like north. North is good. God damn, I'm bleeding. Oh man. I need to find a hill really badly. Oh crap, I'm getting stuck. I hate the night time. Okay, if I die, then I am I'm going to be restarting in a daytime server. Oh god. Now I don't know if I'm running north anymore because I've had to turn to get around some objects. Shit. That zombie is still following me. I can't stop to look in front of me. Oh, this flashlight just flailing around is all I've got to uh, indicate. Oh my god, this is a hill going down, isn't it? This is not going to help very much. Well, you know what? It actually might. I can do something with this. So let's just walk around this way. They'll follow me down the hill at full speed, but... I can go back up the hill and he won't be able to follow me at full speed anymore. Oh, come on. Great, getting a red chain too. That's fantastic. And I am out of juice, and he's on me still. Oh, God. Oh, man. This is not good. Where is he? Where's he at? Okay, I don't see him. I'm gonna get down, turn off my flashlight, and try to bandage myself while I still can. Oh, my God. That was not good at all. Alright! I just lost 40% of my health in one go there. Alright, I need to, to crawl away from this situation. So, let's, uh, let's try not to get caught by this zombie. Yeah, and um, there you go. That's how it can go. You can you can be getting close to something you're interested in, and suddenly you're just screwed. I knew exactly where I was too. I was gonna go check out that gas station, 
There's also a location where you might find an ATV over there. Which would have been nice if I found an ATV. Alright. I think he's gone. I don't know for a fact, though. What is that? It's like a telephone pole or something? Shit, I don't know where I am anymore. I have completely lost my position. Um, I'm going to follow these. At the very least, I can follow these and, uh, and know that they're bringing electricity to something. If they continue on. But that is all I can hope for at the moment. Alright. I don't know where this is going to take me. Whatsoever. Okay. There's some more poles. So yeah, this game can be very intense at times and it can be very slow at other times. I'm sure you all are going to be like, oh, yawn, this is kind of boring just watching you run through uh, this huge open space. Well, you know what? Whatever. I'm not going to cut any of this. That is how I'm going to play. Which is probably silly of me to do, but I'm not going to cut anything. I'm going to work with it. And... By God, I'm going to try to get a weapon better than a hatchet. You know what? I probably should have turned around and taken out the hatchet and tried to swing at that guy. It's just, it was so dark, I was afraid it was not going to work out for me at all. Is it? Oh my God, it's raining, isn't it? Oh, that's fantastic. Do I have a heat pack on me? Oh, thank God. I do have a heat pack. So if the temperature gets too low, I can definitely use the heat pack. Whew. This is definitely not an opportune starting point at all. But, you know, this this is what happens in DayZ. I love it for this. This is cool. It really is. I would totally get my face eaten in the zombie apocalypse. So, when everyone starts doing bath salts, I'm gonna be screwed. Don't do bath salts, kids. That's just bad. What the hell was that? Almost looked like... I guess it's just light through the trees? But it almost looked like light from a flashlight for a second. Alright, so this heads into a huge place over here. So I should probably go along this way. God damn, I don't even have any food. I'm gonna run out of food before I find any. That's gonna be terrible. You know, the thing I want right now is a compass. A so compass would help me out immensely. I'd be able to tell what direction I'm going in and everything. This has to lead to somewhere. The main problem with following uh, power lines like this is that there's lots of players with the same idea, and it's entirely possible that I could run into a player as I'm uh, running down this way and and get my face shot off instead of eaten off. Oh man. So speaking of eaten and bath salts and all that kind of stuff, have you guys heard of this bath salts kind of crap going on? Apparently what goes on is there's like these people that take bath salts like drugs or something. I don't know exactly how it works but for a few hours, they will literally black out and not know what they're doing and go into a zombie state. Like, an honest-to-god zombie state. And 
So a few of these people who have actually done this have eaten some people's faces off. Like, someone literally went and ate a homeless person's face off. I mean, it's bad enough that you're eating someone's face off, but now you're eating a dirty homeless person's face off, which is probably going to need to have you uh, brushing your teeth for years to get the taste of old flannel out of your mouth. But, you know, I don't even know how that works. It's crazy. So, there's actually something that can turn you into a zombie temporarily. And I, I guess as far as I know, this homeless guy, he survived um, through his face being eaten. Which would be terrible. Terrible. I would not want to survive after my face has been eaten. That must be really awful because you, one, your face is messed up beyond all recognition. Two, it must hurt like hell. And yeah, I, I don't even know what I would do if that happens. So zombie apocalypse, bath salts. That's, that is how the zombie apocalypse will, uh, will occur. It's from bath salts. Don't do bath salts. That's, that's just very, very stupid. Oh, man. Bath salts. That's just crazy. There's some really weird things in this world. It's got to make you wonder, did... Did people do this kind of stuff long ago, and that's where the myths of zombies came about? So it's not actually a myth, it's like actually based in reality. Great, another hatchet. Just what I need is. Oh, why does the hatchet have to be so common like that? I mean, fantastic. I've got a hatchet. That's great. I can use it for firewood and stuff, but I would really like a weapon that's uh, more usable. Alright, is this door openable at all? Yes it is. It used to be that a lot of these doors would um, they would be closed if it uh, was a door that you couldn't go into. Now it's like so many doors are closed in this game that you can actually go into that um, it's hard to tell when a lot of these buildings are enterable or not. The best way to do it is you can see in through the windows if it's enterable. But um, for the most part, it's, it's very difficult to tell now whether or not you can get into these buildings. God damn, I wish I could find a weapon. No, I don't want to close the door. It's not... What the hell am I even... Oh, I guess that's... I'm like, I don't even think I'm near a door. Not sure what kind of building this is. In all honesty. It's too dark to really get a good idea. But, you know what? Doesn't matter. I am going to investigate anyway. What do we got here? Got some kind of glow sticks or something. Some chem lights. I should totally use some of these. I know, bad idea, but I'm gonna use it. Just because I feel like using it. Did that even. I don't know if that worked. This chem light is not working for me. I swear these chem lights usually come on like right away. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Whoa! I threw it outside the building. That's not good. Let's pop another chem light right here. Please don't go outside. Thank you. Wow. 
Good. I'm gonna turn this flashlight off for the moment. This totally looks like something right out of Silent Hill. Uh, what do we got here? Kinda need my flashlights. It's like some pain pills, soda. And that might be a map or something. No, it's a mag. Ah, uh, that's too bad. And the soda can is empty. No, nope, I've got a Pepsi. Sounds like I might have attracted a zombie with that chem light. Whoops. I've completely filled my bag. I didn't even expect to do that. Let's grab some painkillers. AKM mag out of nowhere. Um... Oh, I guess I did put that soda in my, uh, my backpack. Because it's not there anymore. Either that or I caused it to be eaten. I'm pretty sure I've attracted some zombies at this point. But that's okay. I wanted to see what the room looked like. Oh my god. An M9? Wow. Please tell me that this has some mags to go with it. It does! Oh my god, that's sweet. I've got an M9. Wow. Um, I need this flashlight. Okay, seriously? Put that in my tool belt. Grab this M9. Do I have another M9 mag? No. Wait a minute. M9 SD? That might actually work for this gun. Alright. Not the hatchet. Let's take out my M9. Sweet. I've got an M9. Alright, I'm kind of thinking I might want to move to another server since I've got an M9 at this point. I've actually got something a little bit viable. Which is kind of nice. Alright. Drink that soda down. Get everything refilled. And, um... Right, so we got like 30 rounds in this, uh... Actually, let's see here. Yeah, we've got 30 rounds. That is, um pretty slick pretty slick indeed all right um, I'll be back I'm gonna try and switch over to another server that's actually bright outs and uh, we'll go from there <laughs>